I'm David and I'm the new pastor at Fremont Presbyterian Church. My family and I just moved here to Sacramento from Chattanooga, Tennessee. And in the couple of weeks that we've been here, we discover that we get to the end of every day and we discover there's one more thing for us to learn about the city or about getting around, about schools. The late Steve Jobs, one of the founders of Apple, whenever he introduced a new product, he would always get to the end of his presentation and he would say, and there's one more thing. And at that point, the crowd knew that he was about to introduce something that would forever change the way they looked at technology, would forever change their lives, the way that they used their phones or a laptop computer. He would always say at the end, and there's one more thing. Over the next several weeks, we're gonna be looking at what's called the Sermon on the Mount, the teaching of Jesus found in Matthew 5, 6, and 7. And in it, I pray that we would discover that if any of us have ever put God in some sort of box, that we might discover in Jesus' teaching that he's more than we could ever imagine. I wonder how many of us have put Jesus in the box simply as the ticket to get into heaven and ignored the fact that he is the most brilliant teacher about what it means to live life here and now. The teaching that he offers in those chapters show us that it might be possible to live a life that is free from the dominant force of anger, that we don't have to perform for others to be self-righteous, and much, much more. Instead of Jesus being just one more thing to add to our life, I pray that over these coming weeks that we would simply discover Him to be more. Maybe you're someone that's never heard of these teachings of Jesus. Or maybe you're someone that's been in church your whole life, but you got tired of hearing the stories one more time. Well, I'd love it if you would reconsider as we begin to explore what it means that Jesus is offering more, more for this life here and more for this life after we die as well. We begin this journey together beginning on September 7th would love it if you would consider what it means that Jesus indeed might be more.